Each tier of cake with dowels is absolutely essential. It gives your cake the structure it needs to survive a move or even just a long standing period. In this video, I'll show you how to dowel and stack a cake for a beautiful multi-tiered presentation. The thing I can't stress enough when you're making a tiered cake is to use dowels for stacking them. Some articles or blogs may suggest using things like straws or chopsticks, but they really don't give you the structure and support that dowels do. Wooden dowels are commonly found at hardware stores or craft stores. And when working with commonly sized cakes like 6 inch, 8 inch, or 10 inch rounds, a quarter inch dowel is typically sufficient. To figure out how long your dowel should be, insert your dowel into the cake. Mark where the dowel meets the cake, and then pull the dowel out. Cut your dowel along this line, and then trim the rest of your dowels to that same length. When figuring out how many dowels you'll need for a cake, a good rule of thumb is to move down the cake in odd numbers. So for this tier, I'm going to use three dowels, and the tier below it, I've used five. Now that I have all of my dowels cut, I'll insert them into the cake. You want to place the dowels so they sit within the area that the tier above will sit on. To mark that out, I'll use a cake board the same size of that next tier of cake. I'll set it on my cake, make sure it's centered, and then just give a tiny little score so that I have guidelines to stay within. When placing the dowels into this tier of cake, be sure to offset them from the cake below. You don't want the dowels lined up within the cake. When they're offset, it gives the cake more structure. Now that the dowels are set, I'll apply some buttercream to my bottom tier that this cake will sit on top of. You want to apply enough so that the cakes will stick together, but not so much that it squishes out between the tiers. Now that I've covered the dowels in this tier with buttercream, it's time to stack the cake. Using a large offset spatula, I'll slide the cake towards me, place this tier on top of the one below it, and then just quickly slide my hands out from underneath. Make sure the cake is centered, and smooth back any fondant that you might have nicked up when you were stacking the cake. Next, we'll stack the top tier the same way. A little more buttercream over these dowels. And we're good. I'll slide my spatula under this top tier. Place it on. I'll make sure this tier is centered as well. Apply a little bit of pressure. And now our tiered cake is complete. Remember, the cake is not completely stable until the buttercream between the layers is set. So at this point, carefully move the cake back to the refrigerator for about an hour or so before serving the cake or continuing with decorating.